leave that in there. <laughs> Balls. Welcome to Robin's Nest. I'm Kevin. I'm Mary. And we are covering baseballs. Balls. <laughs> baseballs, people. Baseballs. So we have had a couple people make comments on our balls. <laughs> baseballs. Um, yes, they are all autographed. I don't know if you can see. Um, today we're going to be covering 46, 46 different balls. You have a lot of balls. I have a lot of balls. So these are 46 different balls that um, the boys and I have been able to... Now this is not all the signed balls. It's the majority of them. Um, we have some that aren't Yankee related or some that are like team balls or dual balls. These are individualized player balls that we have gotten signed since 2012? 13. 12? 2012. Now this, this, this doesn't include any balls that were thrown to you. No, this is just signed balls. These are not balls that have um, been thrown to us by specific players or given to us. These are Specific balls that have just been signed. You do have some balls that that don't have any autographs, but, but have, have significant meaning. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna cover these. Um, might give a little backstory on each ball or each player, if the ball has any significance or if the player has any significance. But not much because you have a whole lot of balls to us. Yeah, just a quick tidbit. All right, let's start it. Who we got? Some of these I'm gonna try. Some of these I can do blind, so I can't. So they're labeled on the shelves. So if you see me looking back, that's why. Okay, this is um, James Caprillion. He's a recent um, draftee by the Yankees out of UCLA. And right now he's currently playing for Tampa. Um, I guess a little backstory there. Um, if you're not a baseball fan, there's different levels of baseball. There's obviously the professionals, Major League Baseball which are like the 30 teams that most people would know. There's AAA, which is just under that, which basically means you're like right at the cusp. There's AA, there's high A ball, then there's low A ball, and then there's rookie league balls, uh, rookie league, rookie ball leagues. Uh, the wording is kind of rookie leagues, um, which those are shorter seasons, so right after the draft, and then there's, right now, there's like Gulf Coast Leagues, or I'm not sure what Arizona calls them, which basically are the really, really young guys that just got drafted. Um, so yeah, James Caprillion out of UCLA. Got that signed this year. This is Ian Clarkin. He was drafted by the Yankees out of high school from San Diego. This is Mark Payton. He was drafted out of college from Texas. I think he's a Longhorn. I believe so. Um, I know some of the Yankee fans are going to be watching this. So if I get it wrong, correct me at the bottom. I'm not going to judge you. Go ahead. Okay, this next one we got signed in... Spring training. You have the picture of it, so I'm gonna try to edit it into this video. I can go get the picture somehow. We'll edit it in the video. We have it somewhere on a regular file, don't we? Anyways, <laughs> I'll figure out how to get it into the video. But this is Dellen Batansis, uh, Killer B. He was one of the Killer Bs. Xander got that one signed. Xander got that one signed. And I got the picture. This one. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, okay. I'm looking at the autographs like it didn't look familiar. Okay, we got this one signed in spring training as well. He signed as a non-roster invitee. So he's now with AAA. Um, I think he's a former twin, I think. Um, it's Chris Parmley. You see how it says practice ball? Because we got it from spring training. This one says official training ball. Does it? It's a signature. Oh, I can find signature. Yeah. Um, this one. Okay. This is Big Chunk. 
That's what he. That's what his nickname is. Um, he was a former Mississippi State. I want to say it's Jacob Lindgren, lefty. He's made it to the big leagues. We got him drafted. Uh, we got him drafted. We got him signed. We got the ball signed this year at a Tampa Yankees game where he was rehabbing. For the state legal. <laughs> I don't think they need to know who's this. Okay, this one is another, um, actually former teammate, and sometimes, yeah, former teammate of Jacob Lindgren. Now they play in the same franchise organization. This is uh, Jonathan Holder. We got that one signed in Jupiter last year after he struck out D. Gordon. Not, not necessarily right after he just struck him out. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, next up is um, this guy is currently on the DL because he has Tommy John. Uh, I believe he's from Louisiana too. It's uh, Chaz Haybear. Side note, I took a picture of him and his mm, girlfriend. I don't want to put any labels. But him and his female companion... We're not going to put any labels on anything at a 4th of July game, right? Oh, I remember when yeah, it got rained out. Yeah. yeah. So that was pretty cool. This is uh, this guy. That was last year. Last year. That's what I said. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyways, so this guy, he's a former Yankees prospect, currently with the Reds organization. I believe he was traded for Chapman. Julius Chapman. Um, rookie Davis. I believe his real name is William. But he goes by rookie. So uh, oh, this one is this one of the cool guys in the system. Um he's gonna run for president eventually, or so he says. He's a stock whiz in a way. I'd vote for an him. aspiring stock whiz, um, uh, Mr. Wes Wilson, who also throws a decent uh, knuckleball. Did you ask him if we need to, like, buy stock through Selkirk? Mitch. Okay. Um, this guy is currently in Trenton. We haven't seen him much, and we haven't had too much personal interaction with him. But um, he's got pretty good speed and pretty good pop in his bat. Um, it's Dustin Fowler. There's your buddy. Oh. All right, this is one of the Yankees' top prospects right now. Uh, originally shortstop, but currently playing as a second baseman. They recently moved him over. It is Jorge Mateo. Got this one signed in Charleston last year, I believe. Yeah. I believe you. In Charleston. This is... Oh, yeah. This guy doesn't play baseball anymore. He actually retired from baseball in spring training last year yes last year retired from baseball last year uh, he's currently in Georgia working as an EMT slash firefighter don't know what his official label is um, he's got so the stash now. it's Trent Garrison and he's got a twin brother that they both used to play for the Yankees this one is I see you. oh okay um, this guy is another good guy in the system a lot of them are good guys of the system, but he has made time. He's actually the first player that Sebastian remembered his last name without help. He called him Mycia because he <laughs> couldn't get out my friend Arcia because he's still young. Yeah. So he called him Mycia. It is uh, Francisco Arcia who is now in the Marlin system. So we'll have to go. Yeah, we'll have to see him Take a eventually. Ah, another family friend. Um, this guy's made all kinds of time for um, us and the boys. Um, not just him himself, but also his parents. His dad is a former major league player. His brother is playing ball right now and just finished his high school season, so he's eligible for the draft. I think you gotta. I think you gotta take a side note and you gotta talk about the Trenton story. The Trenton story. Okay, so we took went our trip. Yeah, and we went to the booth. Okay, to pick up the so we go, we go. 
I don't care how long this video takes. So we go to the booth, and we have tickets. So we're on our Yankees trip, and we have tickets to see Trenton. And we get in line. Actually, and where's the other one? There's another one up here. Is this that one? one? Yeah, this one. Is that the other name? Can you look? No. This one. Who is this? Nick Goody. Yeah, that's the one I need. Oh. Okay. okay. So we get in line, and so we're going to knock two balls out here. We get in line, and... Wait for and mind you, we're from South Florida or Central Florida. Um, so these two players' families are from South Fl or from Central to South Florida. Okay, we've met most of these guys from Tampa. So mind you, we're in Florida. We go to this Trenton game. Well, we this was the trip that we were going through all the stadiums. So yes. we, I think we had already went to New York and to like um, Staten Island. I believe so. So we were making our way to the Trenton game. So we're the Trenton game, and we're waiting in line. And we, since we got tickets um, from our friends, we were we were waiting at the will call. So we go in and we're waiting, and lo and behold, okay, the first guy we had is not the guy we're talking about right now. But the, this guy is um, we've met him before. So his then, I want to say, fiance at that time. Or girlfriend. I'm not sure what stage they were yet at the point of the autograph and the point of this meeting. So we show up and she's there. This player's fiance girlfriend. And it was we're like, okay, that's kind of weird because it's not used to seeing people from Florida in New Jersey on the same day. So we go and we claim our tickets. It just happens to be the same player. And then we look behind us, and there's another family friend that made his trip from South Florida, which is the other player's dad. Yeah, but that dad came to you, like and that dad. You yeah, that, that dad came to me and was like, I think he's like, "Hello, stranger," which was kind of weird because I was not anticipating anyone to really recognize us. I think he probably recognized the boys first and then saw us. So. The player's girlfriend that was there that we met was Nick Goody, which we have a side story on him as well. I think and we have a couple of sides. The first player we were talking about, that his dad is a former major league player and is the dad that came to us in line, was Dante Bichette Jr. So again, like I said, his dad is a former major league player for the Red Sox and Rockies. There might be another team. I can't remember off the bat. And his brother is also eligible for the draft this year. And this player, Nick Goody, um, we actually met him off the baseball field when he came and met us at a Dick Sporting Goods <laughs> and donated balls for the for the boys' birthday Party. invitations. Yeah. yeah. And we also got to see him in Miami. The exhibition game. For the exhibition game. This year. This year. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay, this guy has a nickname. His nickname is uh, The Big Show. He's currently playing for Trenton. He's from Oklahoma, so he's a big guy. Um, it's Kale Kosha. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, this guy, um, young guy, I want to see he's Dominican, but I'm not 100% sure. On, on the spot here with all these players. So we got this autograph actually as he was watching a Tampa Yankees game as a fan. He was already a player, but he's also a fan. Um, so it was Dermis Garcia. He just happened to be at the same game we were, so we got his autograph. Um, this is This guy has one of the better names to say in the franchise because it just comes like out. Abiatal Avellino. I like that name. This is just a cool name to say. Especially if you can say it right. Because some people, Abiatal, it's Abiatal Avellino. No, you don't agree? No, I do agree. She doesn't agree with this. I do agree. Okay. Um, we got this one at the Himes Minor League facility after watching one of the exhibition games. Um, pretty cool guy. Uh, Jordan 
Barnes. Oh, okay. Um, this guy, really cool guy. He took out his time in Trenton. Um, we told him we were coming up, and he's like, "Oh yeah, um, call, let me know after the game." Blah blah blah. He came out, took pictures with the boys. Was looking right for the boys. Um, I got to watch him play in his very first Tampa Yankees game, as he was actually he was like eighteen or nineteen in a system where. He was very young, and he he got the call like an emergency call to play for the Tampa Yankees, which is a uh, Brady Lale. Uh, all right, this is a uh, former Atlanta Braves. He's um, we got this in spring training last sure. year. Last year, last year, it's uh, Brian McCann. Obviously, a major league player now. John Ryan. Oh. This is John Ryan, don't call me J.R. Murphy. Um, we've been watching him for a while, so he will forever be J.R. or Murph. Uh, he's currently with the Twins right now in Minnesota. He got traded. Side note, my favorite game from his, when he caught low. The last game. Oh yeah, when he caught Moe's uh, last game, and he had that that dumb look. He had like this. No, because uh, mis- okay, so there's a picture <laughs> out there. There's look. a picture out there where when Pettit and Jeter come, and they're getting Moe off the base and off the mound, off the mound and Moe starts crying, and he's got this look on his face like he doesn't know what to do. Well, I mean, what are you gonna do at that? Yeah, I mean, you can't you do got much. Three, but... Big Yankee stars right there on the mound. Emotional moment, and he's kind of just like. <laughs> right? Something like that? Yeah. This, um, one of our friends in, in Tampa introduced me to this guy, and we met him in Charleston to get his autograph. Um, Alvaro Noriega. Same ah, another one of Sebastian's best friends. Um, he's been in the Yankee system forever, forever it seems, and he's still got like this mystique about him because people are still very curious. He's been around since he was like sixteen, and um, so yeah, he he knows Sebastian by almost by voice. So we have a couple of really so we have cool a couple stories. of cool stories with him. But well, hold on. I think this is Gary can Sanchez. Can we take another side note? Or we call him Slamchez. I think it was the same, or within the series, because I think for Trent, we went to a couple of games that series. Oh, okay. I think I know what you're talking about. You want to and, tell it? Yeah, go ahead. With the bat? Yeah. Okay, so we, we're at Trenton, and we're, I think it's the same. No, no, no. It, I think it was the, the very first night was a night game. The second the second one was a day game where you okay. ran into um, mm-hmm. the Bichette dad. Okay. So I think this was the first game when we got there at night. Okay. So, well, we see him, and after the game, during the game, he breaks his bat. So, well, we went to the dugout, since we know where to get autographs and stuff after the game and where to talk to him and take our pictures, we know where to do that after the game. We don't make a rush of it during, like, right after the game. And by the dugout. We meet him outside and stuff. So we go and we're there just to say hi so the players know that they're there because they weren't sure when we were going to come and we weren't sure when we were going to make it. So we go just to say hi and Sebastian sees... And that's his Gary. Sees Gary. Gary, 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 Gary. So Gary... Like, there's like a sea of kids trying to get autographs and he Gary holds up his bat. And it's actually over there. It's right there. You may grab it? Yeah, I'm going to grab it. Um, so he grabs his bat that he broke. And so the, all these kids are reaching for it. No, not that one. This is the white one. The birch one. Do you know how many bats you got in? Do you see it? Right there in the middle. Right here? The Chandler. No, not Hickory. Chandler. That one. This one? No, yeah, that one. Okay. So he grabs his bat. And the kids think, like, oh, I'm going to get a bat. I'm going to get a bat. 
and Sebastian's Sorry, there guys. just to say hi. So Gary takes his bat like this and points it towards the kids and all the kids are grabbing for it and then he starts <laughs> wagging it like to split the kids up. And Bastion's just waving and Gary like sticks it up like to him and just gives it to him and all Sebastian wanted was a high five. He ended up getting his high five anyways, but he ended up taking home the if you can see it here. It's like right there. His broken bat. And then we eventually also got it signed. So I know this is a ball video, but, but sorry, I there's mean, side stories. But have... it was pretty cool that he did that. We weren't there to look for the bat, but he knows that we I mean Sebastian all just stuff. more wanted to say hi and we were just surprised when he did that. Um, this is another guy that we met at the, that same series of games. Um, Yankees pitcher, or former Yankees pitcher, um, Caleb Smith. All right, we're back from our technical difficulties. So, um, camera died, so we have to continue to where we started. So next up we have um, Mr. Extension, Francisco Cervelli. He's a former Yankee, now a Pittsburgh Pirate. Just recently signed his contract. Okay, and this next guy got to know Sebastian pretty well this spring. Um, ran into him a couple times. Um, every time he gave Sebastian a high five, said hi. He even like kind of got out of his way every now and then. Like Sebastian just wanted a high five, so he'd make sure um, he did it. It was Sir Didi Gregorius. Well, I think what was cool is that Xander and Sebastian on one of the fields were playing along the fence over in a corner where there wasn't really anybody and when they finished the drill yeah, he nobody came over was, and just like dropped two balls for them. Nobody was really paying you know, attention over there. Sebastian no, there's nobody on that far end of the field and Xander and Sebastian were just playing catch and as soon as the players were done, Dee, Dee grabbed up two balls um, walked up to the fence. The boys didn't even know like what was going on. They didn't ask for the balls. He just kind of dropped them over the fence to know like we ended up seeing what was going on but that was pretty cool for us. And yes, he is a sir. He was knighted in his home country. Oh, this is a big fireballer. Um, he's like six foot one million inches tall and throws like a hundred bazillion miles an hour. Well, not really, but he can hit a hundred miles an hour. Um, it's Domingo Acevedo. He's a really big guy, really a huge guy. This guy. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to look at the name tags. Um, if you watched our 50 subscriber video, you would know this was the one odd thing that I have, the oddest thing that I have in my collection. Not this actual piece, but the guy that it's from. And it's the, his shin guard from the catcher's gear, which was Kyle Higashioka. We got this one signed a while ago. That's a nice clean ball right there. Oh, this is like the cleanest ball we I might have. for your birthday. Yes, yeah, so this one, um, was for... I don't remember which birthday, but she surprised me and brought me to a Tampa Yankees game for my birthday, invited some of the people, um, some of our friends and family. I got to throw out the first pitch, and they had this ball was one of the gifts that the team gave to me on top of like a shirt. And, and you threw out the first pitch. I threw out the first pitch. While it's holding from, Sebastian. It's from Marcus Thames. And if you see, it's a very clean ball. Who is now... Um, Yes, all our other balls are balls that we've collected through games and stuff like that. Um, Marcus Thames is actually the assistant hitting coach, I believe it is. Oh, okay. Um, if you follow baseball or if you follow the Yankees in general, you would likely know who this guy is. Um, recently had an issue with his alcoholism in a way, but he has gotten over that. Um, Really nice guy. Um, it's CC Sabathia. Is this who I think it is? I like really can't see up there now. Let me see. Yeah, it's who I thought it was. All right, we have to look higher because the name tags are higher. Than the, um, Godzilla. This is his nickname, <laughs> and that was his nickname back in Japan, and they kept it in New York in the Bronx. Um, we have, I've had a couple balls signed to him. I've given them to um, friends and family when I have an extra. And I'm actually giving away one on Twitter right now. 
for my I have right two thousand I have two thousand followers on Twitter for my draft to dynasty um, page or Twitter account Twitter handle, but I'm giving one of the other ones. It's not this one, but this is the one I'm giving away. So it's a little cleaner on <laughs> on Twitter, and this is the one for our collection. It's uh, Hideki Matsui. Huh? No, oh. it's not Pitt. I didn't say Pitt, I said oh. Pat. Oh yeah, this is um... Okay, weird story. This guy pitches with both hands. He can throw righty and lefty. Which is pretty, uh, really unique. He's a uh, Pat Venditti. So, yes. Did he signed with each hand? Yes, I had him signed with each hand. He um, has an ambidextrous glove, so it actually has six pockets instead of five. Oh yeah, this is um okay. This one I got. The ball is pretty clean. I think we just got this. It's um got this at uh, the Yankees women's fantasy camp when we were we were visiting um, Tampa already, and they happened to have a fantasy camp, and Chris Chambliss was nice enough to sign for us. If you did this one already, did you want to do this one again? Oh yeah, um I'll go over it again. It's um, one of our good friends for the family, um, really good guy. Every time I can, I, I go and talk to him. It's um, Nick Goody. He's a Central Florida boy. Went to uh, LSU for any of you guys out there. Ah, so this next guy recently made his big league debut and his family, his mom is really great. I've met her a couple times um, at the fields and stuff like that. She's, she's as we've watched Ben grow in the system, she's watched our kids grow. Ooh, sorry, extra lady there. <laughs> um, she's watched our kids grow from toddlers to like where they are now. So every time we see her in spring training and stuff like that. Well, um, she's our Facebook friend. Yeah, and she, uh, and she, yeah, she's on our Facebook friends. Also, um, we call him Spider Man because but you gotta, you he gotta sees see the catch. He, he just makes these plays where he's just. Well, I remember everywhere. Tampa Yankees, and he dove up against the wall, and, and he stuck there. like listen, just it was one of those like nobody saw it coming. So it is um, Ben Gamble, and I think this is actually the ball that I think he hit a foul ball, and I got this one. I think that's I think that's why. Like that's one of the reasons for this. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Young and up and coming pitcher. He's made his big league debut already at a very young age. Um, he just recently pitched not too long ago. It's Luis Severino. Ha! Huh. All right. This is um for any of you NBA fans. This is um, Blake Griffin's adopted stepbrother. Not really, but people say they kind of look alike. Okay. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, really big dude. He's like six foot seven, built like a freaking tree, like a he redwood. Has stalkers. He has, yeah, he has a crazy stalker, um, which now I think she's moved on to somebody else. But, anyways, um, really good guy. It's, um, Aaron Judge. Groot. Is that my good thing? I yeah. can't see. Okay. Whew. All right. This is a guy that, for all intents and purposes that I know of, he's not playing baseball right now. He might be back home, but not in the States that I know of. Um, really got to know him. In his time with Tampa, he's one of those guys that were like really fringy in terms of talent and abilities, but he was also just a really good guy. It's um, Mikeson Oliberto. And this ball, if you see that big um, scuff mark right there, um, I caught this foul ball one-handed. Pow! Is that why it's scuffed? 
Well, that's from, not from my hand. <laughs> from his bat. I'm just checking. Let's see. Just want to make sure. Okay. Can I see this one more? No, I guess not. Um, let's see. Third base. Place for the Yankees. The Tampa Yankees, I should say. Tampa Yankees. Um, he's still a pretty young kid, too. But, um... I don't have much because I haven't interacted him with that much. There is a language barrier there, but it seems like a pretty good guy every time we see him. It's Miguel Andujar. <laughs> Some of these get really tricky. Oh, okay. Whew. Um, not the opposite of Godzilla, but he's he's still a big guy in Japan. Um. He's really, he's really, he's not that engaging as much as like Matsui is. He seems very like quiet and reserved, whereas Matsui is very like into the fans. It's um, Hiroki Koroda. I didn't know which way you wanted to go. Yeah, we'll go this way. Okay. All right. This ball, I think, is one. That, this one's a very clean ball. It's it one left. of our. First. It's one of our first autographs that we collected with the boys, and I think well, no. we got this oh, no, at on, the on. drop. At that Paul, there was just a boy. Oh, this was just from Xander. So it's. I don't um, even think I was pregnant with Vashi. When so, we got that ball sign. So this one is. Um, we got this at Tropicana Field in Tampa. It was one where it was like you get to meet them and you can pay for an autograph, and the autograph counted as a donation to the Ted Williams Hitters Museum. Mm -hmm. And if you can see, like, the, you could tell this is not made of the same material because it's absorbing the ink. But it's Roy White. It's still pretty cool. Ah. Mr. Swag himself. Well, the other swag, because Dante yeah. likes to call himself that. But this is, um, he's made his big league debut as well. And it's one of those guys, like, you know, like, okay, it's really cool to see him come up from from our level of baseball all the way up and get his big league debut. It's um, Mason Williams. I think sometimes people get the wrong persona of him. Yeah, like, a lot of people... He's really nice. A lot of people um, that I've ran into, not people that have known, like have gotten to know him, but a little sidebar here. A lot of people will want to call Mason like a douche. Or like an asshole or whatever because they run into him and some players will sign as many items as you want to throw at them that's just their personality um, Mason seems to sign things like one at a time per person and that's either how what he's instructed to do or just his personality um, but he seems very like standoffish standoffish at first like once you get to know him, though, we've we've come to feel. Well, I guess we've come to well, I and guess like even because then because we've done the booster club dinners. Yeah, we've done so dinners where we have it's these. It's not players. on the field. This is in a private area. Everyone's relaxed. The guys are not in uniforms, and he's a sweetheart. And it seems he's like gotten to notice once us. you break the ice with him, no problem. And there was a point where I was going to baseball games like two, three times a week. Um, yeah, you were. And he would question like why. Xander didn't come or why Sebastian didn't come and like if I told them like one time I think Sebastian didn't come with me and I brought Xander and the next game that Sebastian did come to he asked him why he didn't come and it's because he got in trouble at school so Mason got on him for that and Sebastian didn't like it because he got because <laughs> he's Sebastian yeah he cried so um this is one I don't know if I got this signed in person or if I bought it right after his signing but it's Daryl Rasner former Yankee. I know we're, I know we got more balls than this. I'm sure we do somewhere. Because there's quite a few balls that I've stood in line to get for you. Like who? Like older players. Well, I'm sure that he um we have another case somewhere, but sometimes they have remember sometimes they're team balls. Oh. And I'm I'm not doing the team balls right now. Like gotcha. I know we have Gossage, we have Reggie. 
Mm -hmm. We'll do that on another video, but these are just the individual balls. Like we have team balls. Yeah, that but you I thought we now. got them on individual balls. No, or we did it in. That was, in yeah, I have one over there for a gossage. But most of the other balls we have, and they are on team balls because that was when we didn't have as many baseballs. Okay. So we were starting, that was like when we first started getting autographs. Side note every game we go to, we walk away with at least every one ball. game. At least one ball. Um, minus like Yankee games, like when we go to New York. Well, I mean, that's those a are different... harder to go to. But like every minor league yeah, game that we go we to, went to, no, even when we went to the Trop, or no, when we Marlins. went to Miami. Yeah, when we went to Miami, it was kind of funny. Um, we were watching them work out and everything, and I was like, oh man, I see Nick is in center field, so we go towards. Yeah, but who's he talking to? Center field, and he's talking to Ellsbury. That's pretty. Cool. And it was. So we're like, we're calling him, we're calling him. He finally sees us. And then, so we just wave to him. He waves back or whatever. And then he gets a ball. Like one of the other players that were shagging gets the ball. And Nick asks for it. And Nick just like chucks it up. Like not from right by the wall. If you don't know Miami, you, it's, it's hard because it's not like right at the wall like at some other stadiums where you could just hand people a ball. Um, so he well, kind of like even on the warning track. No, he like he like chucked it from the center field uh, position, and the other people were looking at us like, "What was that about?" Because usually we don't ask for a, we don't ask for balls from a player during batting practice, unless if they're right at the warning track, and usually that's when they're the most uh, willing Accessible. to throw balls. Yeah, because they they don't want to hear everybody yelling for them. This guy, I think I know. Who So um, this guy currently plays for the New York Yankees at third base. Um, he gets a lot of flack for his just his abilities right now. A lot of people call him overrated or whatever, but it's Chase Headley. So he's an actual he's on the team right now, and he's the starting third baseman. And then our last one is um, the first DH ever. So if you don't know what DH is, it's designated hitter. Um, he was the first ever permanently assigned DH. Just that's just a tidbit. It's a uh, Ron Blumberg. He's got a funny name. So that is. See, I'm confused though. What happened? We'll talk about this after the video. Okay. Because I know we have more balls. So that is the um, our ball case, and wow, we have like balls everywhere. This one? No, see, this ball was just hanging in a toy bucket. It's a major league ball. Well, if the boys find it, they're going to play with it. They and know what it's for. You see, it's, it's, it's listed as official major league ball, and it's stamped practice ball. So we get these tossed to us constantly. Side, side note, Xander could throw these since he was like a year and a half. Yeah, Xander's never and really people, thrown. People... It would be funny because he'd walk around with the baseball and people would be like, oh, toss it to me. Like, thinking that he's just going to, like, eh. And he would just, like, wind up and people would be like, he, some people got hurt. On that note, he's, Xander has played catch with uh, Curtis Granderson. Was it Xander or Sebastian? No, it was Xander. It was Xander? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Xander. But, yeah, he played catch with... Side note. Okay. <laughs> I have to one-up you. For somebody's totally different birthday, we went to the TROP and got seats right next to the dugout. And then somebody walks out as he's going to the bullpen, stops and plays like, what is that called? Like coos at Sebastian for like five minutes. And at this point, I'm completely in shock. Who's that? Mariano Rivera. I can one up you. We got Mariano's autograph. Like, the one game I don't go with him. So... One game I don't go with him, he gets the fucking autograph. Calls me, hey, do you know whose autograph I got? No, whose autograph did you get? Oh, just Rivera's. And I literally said, no fucking shit. It's not happy. I mean, I was happy we got it. Not happy. I missed out on it. It was pretty cool. Um, Whatever. So that is our balls collection. Um, we will likely get one for... Um, we have some bats. 
we have some other memorabilia that's signed um, so we'll cover those in a later video Kenny who's uh, one of my friends on Twitter requested I don't know how I'm going to do that one but he requested an autograph card video do you know how many of those there are? So I might do those in Insane. bunches. Insane. Might have to do those in bunches and we'll see. Might you have figure out like the hats or the cleats. No, he asked for the... We'll do a memorabilia mm. video. I'll He'll do... He'll just like take pictures of the binders. I'll do... Um, like... I'll do card video, but it'll be broken up into sections or parts. I probably won't be there for that she one. She probably won't be there for that one. That'll no. probably be a solo video I write on. But um... Yeah, you so write on that all by yourself. This is the ball collection. And Can I give one more story? We got a lot of stories. Go ahead. I know, but it's like one of my favorite baseball stories, and it's not even mine. Okay, go ahead. So I remember when Xander was born, and we went to the trap, and you're sitting out in left field? Right field. Right field. And it's like, they're not even practicing yet. Right? Because they haven't even started practicing yet. And you're just standing up there with Xander in his carrier. Oh, no. They just started. Or they just started. And Andy Pettit just walks by, picks up the ball, and tosses it to him. I was like, that was so cool. So, yeah. Having kids at baseball games, knowing your players. But Xander was like, baby, baby. Mm -hmm. Like, in his carrier. Like, eh. Yeah, I had him on my chest. That was easy times back then, right? It was. <laughs> like, just yeah. Now they now we take them to Steinbrenner Field and they just run around because they know that place like nothing. They and the people know them like it's pretty crazy. So, that is the balls. Balls. We have balls to the wall. So we have um, if you see, I don't know if you can see the whole thing, but this is a forty count case and it's full. So now I have to go get my other case and start on that one. Don't know where we're displaying it and um also you see the display by the next video should be some of it some of it will be changing and likely we'll have more display stuff on the table the next video actually will be a an announcement yeah video mm -hmm. so keep an eye out on that